Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. This is the second tutorial for learning the basics of GML, Game Maker Language. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm in my O square uh, object right here, and I've deleted everything from the previous tutorial if you were following it. So, let's begin with learning loops. So, loops are a central part to programming and can be used in multiple ways. The first loop is called a while loop. So, click add event, create. And in the control section, drag in the first code block. In here, we'll type, uh, we'll declare a variable first actually. Let's say z equals 5. This is basically assigning 5, the value, to the variable z. Now let's, uh, let's start a while loop. Type in while. And as you can see, ga uh, it turned orange which meant that GameMaker recognized this function. Two parentheses. And inside these, the argument takes a condition. So let's say while z is smaller or equal than 10, and inside this curly break brackets, we have what happens. We'll just say show underscore message. And we'll just say z. So this is saying while z is smaller or equal than 10, show this message. It's kind of like an if statement. If z is smaller or equal than 10, show message. However, the, the, the difference is that while loops, they loop over and over again until the condition is, is uh, not met. So if z is, becomes over 10, then it'll stop looping. Now, if we run this, it'll be an infinite loop because we are not doing anything to the variable z. It's just staying at 5. So, let's do z++. plus plus. What this does is the same thing as z plus equals 1, which is just uh, adding 1 to the value. This is basically like a short form. Alright, cool. So, let's run this and see what happens. Make sure you have your object in your room. Alright, it creates itself. And you can, you can see it shows the message of 5, which is our initial var variable. Click OK. 6, it's plus in 1. 7, 8, 9, 10, and that's it. So once the loop is finished, it'll just end itself. Cool. So that's basically the while loop. It's pretty simple and quite effective itself. Alright, now let's learn about for loops. So, for loops uh, take three parameters. So, you type in for, as you can see, it turned orange, which meant that GameMaker recognized it. Put two brackets, and in here, the first parameter is declaring our local variable. So, generally, we programmers use the variable i, but you can use a, s, whatever you like. So, i equals, and let's keep it at zero for the first one. And our next parameter, use a semicolon, don't use comma for this one. For our next argument, we put in the condition. So let's go, um, I, actually let's get, we, we can get rid of this. Because we don't need that. So I equals, uh, as long as I is smaller than 5. And our last parameter is what happens every single loop. So let's just do I++. plus plus. Open your curly brackets. So this is the declaration, this is the condition, and this is what happens every loop. So we're just going to do show underscore message. And let's do something a bit different. Let's do um, a string that says uh, the, the, and then we'll plus i, which is the variable we created plus apple okay now you may think this works this is gonna say the and then it will be the number let's say it's two and then oh wait that doesn't work let's leave that out the two and then apple okay now the thing is that if you add a, if you concatenate a string and an integer, that wouldn't work because GameMaker is trying to add a string with an integer and that, uh, you can't really add like 5 plus 5. 
You can't do like the plus five, all right? So you need to make sure to convert this integer into a string, like so. So now if we, I think that's all we need to put in here. We'll run this again, and you'll see what happens here. The zero apple, the one apple. Yeah, that works. If we get rid of the string, I'll show you what Game Maker says. It doesn't show any er errors at the moment. Execution error, um, the create event. So you can see, uh, it's this do add. It's basically it's saying that you, I can't add a string with an integer. Yeah, so that's why we make sure you always convert integers to string when you concatenate. Yeah, so those are the two main loops we use in Game Maker. It's not that hard. Um, they're very useful, especially in games. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned to the next episode where we'll be covering arrays and alarms, which is a very big part in Game Maker, as well as a big part of the game that we're going to be creating after this series. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.